you're the only one that I know of can put this uh, thing together. And you better carve out your pie and territory and say, now, let's see what time's allotted us and uh, where we begin, where we take off. But God, while we're here, let's serve our country. Let's just don't go down the drain. Uh, uh, these things about Fulbright uh, removing key. Now, don't you know that he's got to show his independence to us now, and the only damn thing we've got has been a reasonably stable government for a few months. And uh, we've just got to, to save this damn country. This country, uh, we haven't got any sense on winning out there at all. It's just the opposite, I'm afraid. And I just think that we... Uh, I don't think Russ can do it, McNamara can do it, I can do it. I think maybe you're fresh enough and objective enough and judicious enough and honest enough and sincere enough, friend of uh, of all concern. You don't have to be a traitor to anybody. You just have to be good and do what's right. But somebody's going to have to divide up the pie here and say, now, I never make a critical word of any Kennedy at any time. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to say it. I'm dodging. I'm taking these damn books and these, these things, and now John Connolly's writing one. What he's going to say, God knows. But I know one thing you can truthfully say. Kennedy insisted for two years that he come and make five money-raising speeches. And he finally told him in my presence, said, Mr. President, they're going to think all the Kennedys want out of Texas is money. You haven't been down here. So I'd suggest you make one money-raising speech, and whatever else you do, you do totally non-political. And he told him that in the spring, April, and he told him that in June. And then they'd because I wouldn't encourage it, I got he called him up and wouldn't let me know he was calling him. And he came up here and had a secret meeting with him, and I found out about it because he asked Bill Moyer to advance it. And he said, to, he told John, the reason he didn't tell me, the vice president's not enthusiastic. So uh, we go through all that kind of stuff. But even if we had made the tragic mistake of forcing this poor man to put up a deer head here along with his fish, I don't know who forced him to put up the fish in the fish room, that he caught in his honeymoon, but I damn sure didn't force him to put up anything. And it's, a, it's just a manufactured lie. Poor little deer, he saw it in his eye, and he just couldn't shoot it. Well, hell, he was wasn't in 250 yards of it. He shot it, and he jumped up, and who rubbed up right on the fender of the car so he could kill another one. And we had to stay out there an hour or two later till he killed a second one. Most of them got a rule that won't let you kill but one. But he was the president, and the law says you can kill two, and we want him to have whatever he wanted, but then nobody forced this man to do a damn thing. He wasn't been confident to be president. If he, I think it's the greatest uh, desecration of his memory that an uh, impotent vice president could force this strong man to do a goddamn thing. Well, you got to figure out how to get out of it. The first thing we got to get out of is a Hoover again, and I. I gather then that you think that the thing we ought to do is is get him over here with Fulbright. I doubt that's necessary. All right. So you, you try to get a letter out of him. Let me see if we can just work it out over there in the department. See if we can get a letter out of him. If we can't, see if we can get a letter from Ramsey that he would agree with. All right. Now when are y'all going to announce McComber and get? Let's go to counting these votes up there. Okay. You can't announce McComber time. I went to Senator right. Austria. Will that be all right? Yeah. It's good enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid you're not as objective on that as you are on most matters. Mr. President, uh, give me my five minutes. Right. I do feel strong. All right. We'll talk. All right. Fine.